Hey there, my name is Cecily Jamela and welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Gig Economy News. I got some good stuff for you guys this week, so I appreciate you guys coming on by. A dash cam records a woman stealing her Uber driver's tips and that video goes viral. Seattle approves a minimum wage for both Uber and Lyft drivers. Gotta love it. Food delivery services are now expanding their base to keep up in the pandemic. And I found one of the first no on Prop 22 commercials that I've seen. All that and more, it's This Week in Rideshare News. A woman caught stealing money out of her Uber driver's tip jar has now had a change of heart. <laughs> after that video went viral. The driver says first that he confronted her, but she denied it and he uploaded the video to Reddit for some support. Even later after people confronted her, this young lady still mocked him and she has now since apologized for stealing the money. Uber has since banned her from the platform. They are trying to reach out to the driver to offer support. While Uber and Lyft are leaning toward food delivery, food delivery companies like Instacart and DoorDash are moving outside of food to partner with brick and mortar businesses for same day delivery. The latest example of this partnership would be Bed Bath & Beyond partnering with uh, Instacart and Ship for the same day delivery option. Sephora and 7-Eleven, a huge chain, also partner with Instacart as well. As you know, DoorDash has created Dash Mart where they partner with convenience stores in your area. And Walmart has also implemented same day delivery on a lot of their items as well. With only 31 days to the election, California drivers are now in a heated debate about Prop 22. Now, if you guys live here, you've seen a ton of commercials, ads, billboards, and now text messages for yes on Prop 22. Well, I think I might have found the first ad for no on Prop 22 that I've seen. Maybe you've seen some. And I just wanted to keep things balanced because I know some of you guys do support both sides. Taking California for a ride. Companies like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash. Breaking state employment laws for years. Now these multi-billion dollar companies wrote deceptive Prop 22 to buy themselves a new law to deny drivers the rights they deserve. No sick leave, no workers comp, no unemployment benefits. Vote no on the deceptive Uber Lyft DoorDash Prop 22. One ride California doesn't want to take. Now drivers, you guys that don't live in California, I see your comments, I feel your pain, I understand what's happening in California doesn't affect you directly. This is a huge, huge, huge battle for us and it will become a huge battle for you. Just know that whatever happens here is probably going to happen in your market as well. So please put up with us for the next four weeks while we all lose our minds and try to persuade <laughs> all of our family members to vote one way or another. It's a very, very important landmark decision for what's going to happen next with rideshare and so my hope is that you tolerate us for the next four weeks while we get through it now the city of seattle approves a minimum wage of 16 dollars 39 for both uber and lyft drivers seattle you guys are doing good things over there. The city council unanimously approved a minimum wage for Uber and Lyft drivers this past Tuesday, following El Monte last fall in New York a couple years ago. The new regulation goes into effect in January, 2020. I can't wait to see if it actually happens. Now it's been a few years since New York City implemented a minimum wage. So I wanted to find an article or some news stating how it, this may have worked or it's a disaster. Uh, there's an article called Uber Wage Experiment Actually Work. Basically two years ago, NYC approved a minimum wage for Uber and Lyft and drivers overall said that on the upside, they made more money per trip but on the downside and they couldn't work when they wanted to. And obviously prices went up for packs. So with the amount of protests I've seen in New York City since then, I don't think, if you were to ask me, I don't think that all drivers are happy with the changes and they still want some sort of government uh, intervention for whatever reason. I don't know because I'm not from there. I wasn't able to find anything 
to confirm if Uber or Lyft actually upheld the $30 minimum wage set last October in El Monte. So if anyone knows, let me know. I looked all over the internet, couldn't find anything. But I figured that this would be a perfect setup for this week's What Would You Do? Now, do you think that $16 per hour is enough money to drive for Uber or Lyft? Now, last year, like I said, El Monte proposed a $30, $30 an hour uh minimum pay half would be for yourself that $15 for yourself and $15 would go towards expenses again I don't know if they ever held up their part of the deal and actually paid it out I don't know if it worked or not but you're out there every single day you know what it is what would be an appropriate wage what would be an appropriate wage to pay a driver right now today let me know in the comments so that's it for me this week if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i still check every single time if you have any tips or you want to see something you can always hit me up on my youtube channel which is drive girl drive or my facebook which is also drive girl drive i appreciate the love i get from you guys every single week you can find me here every single saturday morning at 6 a.m please be safe god bless peace out